he explained why it all went down. He said during his rise to stardom, he if Oprah was watching this, what would you tell her? I would say Oprah Winfrey, you know what you need to do. That is the last time that I, I haven't gotten a raise since then. And every, each and every project that I have, I have to fight for that. You still have to fight. I have to fight. The world of Hollywood is never without its share of drama. And the latest controversy centers around Oprah Winfrey. Oprah isn't a stranger to criticism. And now renowned rapper 50 Cent and actor Denzel Washington have teamed up to expose her alleged exploitation of other black actresses. The controversy started when Taraji P. Henson accused Oprah of exploitation, and 50 Cent has since come to her defense. In this video, we'll explore the controversy and give you the inside scoop on what's going on. So get comfortable, and let's get started. 50 Cent is back to calling out Oprah Winfrey for using black actors to build her billion-dollar empire, and then eventually abandoning them. This time, the rapper is backing Taraji Henson, the actress known for her roles in Benjamin Button and Hustle and Flow, in her accusation of being exploited by Oprah. I wasn't a greedy person. I, I, I understood the game. I know that I can't make as much as a certain person that's been in the game longer than me, has proven box office success. I'm proving myself still. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm not going to belittle myself, my talent, and my worth. For context, in a recent interview on Gail King's Sirius XM, Taraji accused Oprah of underpaying her for her role in the new film, The Color Purple. This has ignited a lot of comments from the public, with some chiding Oprah over the alleged actions. But Taraji didn't stop at that. She also admitted that every black actor in Hollywood was struggling too when it came to pay disparities and inequality. This admission reflects a broader issue that extends beyond individual experiences to systemic challenges facing black actors and actresses in the industry. It seems every time I do something and I break another glass ceiling, when it's time to renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again mm -hmm. like I never did what I just did. And I'm According to Taraji, her salary has not increased in over the last six years since she starred in Proud Mary. She also revealed that she almost walked away from the color purple deal because Oprah's first offer was disrespectful. As a fellow black woman, she had hoped that Oprah would offer a fair wage, but she was disappointed. She expressed that she wasn't the only one who experienced such a situation and that many other actors are facing similar challenges in the industry. As she got emotional, she stated that she wanted to stand up for herself and others to expose the Hollywood elites who have been leveraging on their talent and hard work without rewarding them fairly. And if I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what am I doing? She added. Not stopping at that, she disclosed that she had considered quitting acting entirely. And Taraji is not alone. Gabrielle Union, Kiki Palmer and other black actors have also spoken out about how they had to do the most on screen while getting the least. There's a larger conversation going on about equality and equal pay. Why is it important for you to take a stand for that issue? My mortgage, uh, my mortgage alone. You know, I, I put in the same hours as, 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 as most men and uh, if not more, and I deserve to get paid. Not long after Taraji's emotional revelation, 50 Cent dived into the issue by reposting an article about the situation on his Instagram and made it clear that he was in support of Taraji. The rapper expressed his willingness to collaborate with her, offering his support and a possible creative outlet. The post was captioned, They dropped the ball. Forget them, Taraji P. Henson. I'm ready to work. Let's get it. Though this may be the first time 50 Cent has publicly defended Taraji, he has a history of speaking out against Oprah. In the early 2000s, he was a rising star in the hip-hop scene and wanted to change his public image from an ex-drug dealer in Jamaica to an A-list rapper by appearing on Oprah's show. He viewed the opportunity as a way to also honor his grandmother, a devoted fan of Oprah, and show her he was making positive strides in his life. But the appearance never happened. Oprah didn't accept the idea, making it clear that she wasn't interested in what 50 Cent had to offer. He was so disappointed by the rejection that he accused Oprah of being against the type of music he creates. And he even went so far as to say that Oprah has become white herself, saying, I think she caters to older white women. I mentioned to hip hop culture, it was something that was wrong with it. And it was something that was on my CD that was the largest debut in hip hop out. Along with 50 Cent, 
Ice Cube, and some other artists have accused Oprah of having a bone of contention to pick with them due to not featuring them on her show. Oprah, on the other hand, has voiced her disapproval by asserting that she found certain lyrics of their music offensive and degrading. The difference in perspective has led to a long-standing disconnect between 50 Cent and Oprah, with 50 Cent saying, She was completely against everything that was in my music, so she ain't never going to have me on that show. I'm never going to reach that platform, which is confirmation of your being a huge success. So I just said, okay, if we can't be friends, then at least let's be enemies. 50 Cent took the beef to new heights when he named his dog after her and his cat after her close friend Gail King. At that time, rapper-actor Ludacris also joined in the fray, accusing Oprah of trying to embarrass him during an interview to promote the movie Crash with the rest of the movie cast. Instead of focusing on the movie, Oprah kept bringing up Ludacris's use of the N-word in his music. He felt that she was unfairly attacking him and took to a radio interview to air his grievances. To make matters worse, Oprah's team edited out parts of Ludacris's response to her questions, making him appear in a negative light. This created a false impression of Ludacris, making him look unintelligent and unprofessional. The case of Dave Chappelle is also an example of Oprah's attempt at putting words in the mouth of her interviewee. Dave Chappelle, who had famously turned down a lucrative deal with Comedy Central, appeared on Oprah's show to discuss his decision. As Dave tried to explain his concerns about his safety and the questionable aspects of the deal, Oprah repeatedly interrupted him, even pressuring him to admit that he had a mental illness. It seems as though they're crossing over the next plateau. Yeah, yeah. Would you say you lost your mind, sort of? Now, despite Oprah's lengthy history of mistreating and cheating black actors, 50 Cent has a history of standing up to defend some of these actors. Besides his support for Taraji, 50 Cent has also spoken out in defense of actress Monique, who accused Tyler Perry and Oprah of blacklisting her after she spoke out about being underpaid for her role in the film Precious. She alleged that she received only $50,000 for her role in the blockbuster film and was also asked to promote it without additional compensation, which she refused to do. As a result of this, Oprah and Tyler ganged up against Monique, portraying her as someone difficult to work with. Monique claimed that Perry even went so far as to badmouth her to director David E. Talbert, making it difficult for her to secure deals. Thank you, Mr. Lee Daniels. Thank you, Mr. Tyler Perry. Thank you, Ms. Oprah Winfrey. No, baby, I wasn't blackballed. During this period, Monique faced a lot of backlash from people in the industry, except 50 Cent. He was the only person who stood by her. He made a series of Instagram posts, sharing his enthusiasm for the Academy Award-winning actress. In a post, 50 Cent shared, I went to see at the Real Mo Worldwide stand-up show Super Bowl weekend. It was so good. She had me in a trance. You gotta check her out. He even went as far as to launch a campaign to help revive Monique's acting career and called on Tyler Perry to apologize to the actress. Like Monique, why is she canceled? I had to revisit that. 50 explained to Big Boy's Neighborhood, recalling the incident during an appearance on the show. You don't worry about cancel culture, huh? Huh? Why would you cancel things that are uh, great for the culture? Right, right. Like, I mean, like, I, I was like, cancel, like, Monique, why is she canceled? Mm hmm. Gotcha. I had to revisit that because it was like, it didn't make sense to me, baby. I'm like, so what did she do? She said something you didn't like? like? In addition to 50 Cent, Denzel Washington is another actor who has reportedly spoken out against Oprah and the manipulation that takes place in Hollywood, as he's also a victim. Being a renowned figure in the industry wasn't easy for Denzel, as he quickly discovered the dark side of the entertainment industry. In 2014, Denzel found himself at the center of the Sony email hack scandal, when private emails from Sony Pictures were leaked online. In one of the leaked exchanges, a producer recommended that Sony not cast black actors in leading roles in order to appeal to a global audience. The producer suggested that their international earnings would have been higher if a white actor had taken the lead role. This was not long after the release of Denzel's movie, Equalizer. That's not all. Denzel also found out another hidden truth of Hollywood when it comes to black people, and that's the pressure to capitalize on black trauma for entertainment purposes. This shows how deeply rotten the image of black people are in the industry, and it raises serious questions about what those black people with power in the industry like Oprah are using their influence for.
That's it. A rundown of the recent news making headlines in Hollywood. What's your thoughts on the Taraji dilemma, Oprah's alleged exploitation, and 50 Cent support? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching.